Hi, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Join me as we count down the days until the fight of the century. The Manny Pacquiao vs. Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight on May 2. This week's headlines. In or out of the arena, Vegas fight tickets are sky high. HBO releases the trailer for its Mayweather Pacquiao documentary. And a quick peek at each fighter's training camp. Planning to go to Las Vegas for fight night? Think again. Even if you aren't watching in the arena, but want to watch on closed circuit, expect to pay $150 according to Bob Arum. That's double the price of closed circuit for Mayweather's last fight in September against Marcus Maidana, and the same price as the cheapest ticket inside the arena when Pacquiao fought Timothy Bradley last April. Yahoo also reports the fight will be blacked out from non-MGM Resorts International Hotels in Vegas, so the only places to watch it on the Strip will be the MGM Grand, Monte Carlo, Bellagio, and Mirage. As for tickets inside the arena, those go on sale this week and are priced at face value between $1,500 and $7,500. But Fox 5 reports that floor seats could go for over $50,000 on the secondary market. There may not be a 24-7 series for the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight this time around. The much-beloved reality television show, which follows athletes before a major sports event, won't air for this fight. One's been talking about Pacquiao and Mayweather. But HBO will debut a documentary on both fighters on April 18, U.S. time. HBO releases a 30-second trailer for its documentary, At Last, which will show how Mayweather and Pacquiao finally agreed to make the fight happen. In the documentary, Pacquiao says, Finally, five years, six years in the making, he has nowhere to go. He can run, but he cannot hide. Mayweather is quoted as saying, It's been a long road, but we're here now. A quick look at each fighter's camps. Over at Pacquiao's Corner, an eventful week, including visits from athlete celebrities, and what else? An MTV. The Filipino fighter gets a surprise visit from basketball legend Carl Malone, and the latest celebrity to visit, MMA fighter Ronda Rousey. Pacquiao tweets about the champ meets champ moment, thanking her for the visit. Pacquiao said in March that Rousey could beat Mayweather in an MMA bout. But it's not all training for the Filipino fighter, as he finds time to release a song. Sabay tayong lalaban, lalaban ako. The song, recorded in Filipino, will be played when Pacquiao walks into the ring on fight night. Lalaban ako para sa Filipino, which translates into I am going to fight for Filipinos, is a nationalistic tune that talks about Pacquiao's love for his people. The full music video can be found on his website. Over at Mayweather's camp, the undefeated boxer tells MLive.com that he can handle Pacquiao's busy pace when he meets the Filipino boxing icon in the ring. Freddie Roach, Pacquiao's trainer, said his fighter's volume punching would be in full effect against Mayweather on fight night and that Mayweather has slowed down. But Mayweather brushes off Roach's observation. I think my focus is always being in control and dictating the pace. You've got guys who throw a lot of punches. I think that everyone's game plan is to throw a lot of punches. It hasn't worked so far, he says. Mayweather is also seen mixing up his training for the fight. He posts a video of him doing some laps in the pool with former Pacquiao conditioning coach Alex Ariza. And before we go, here's a quick comparison of the two fighters in numbers. Mayweather 1, Pacquiao 8, the number of times they have been knocked down in their careers. Mayweather $2,500, Pacquiao $2, the amount they were paid for their professional fight debut. Mayweather $2.48 million, Pacquiao $1.45 million, the amount they earned from their highest selling pay per view fights. Mayweather 72, Pacquiao 64, the number of seconds their fastest knockout of an opponent took. And 20, the number of world champions both Pacquiao and Mayweather have each fought in their careers, five of which both men fought. For more details and figures, visit Rappler's sports page. And that's it for this week, folks. We're just 18 days away from fight night. Tune in again next week as we get closer to the fight the world is waiting for. Until then, take care.